With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, uh, here in this question it is given that four particles, each of the mass is represented with the capital M are lying symmetrically on the rim of a disk of uh, 6M. Mass of the 6M and the radius is given as capital R and the moment of inertia of this system about uh, an axis passing through one of the particles and the perpendicular to the plane of disk is. So according to the given question, we have uh, four different uh, uh, particles lying on the ax uh, rim of the disc okay so this small m is a representation of his of this uh, particles and the capital R is the radius okay so as the axis of the rotation is passing through one of the particle and perpendicular to the plane of the disc so by using parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of the disc can be written as id is equals to half into m r square capital m r square plus uh, m r square which will be equals to 3 by 2 m r square so now the moment of inertia of the particle about which the body is revolving is zero so now we can uh, observe that two of the particles are at the distance under root 2 r okay distance g is equals to under root 2 r and one of the particle is at the distance of uh, 2 r only so which is very less compared to the actual uh, length that means actual the distance between particles okay so thus the moment of inertia of the particles about the axis of the rotation can be written as ip is equals to 2 into m 2 m into under root 2 r whole square plus m into 2 r whole square so we can write this as ip is equals to after simplifying we will be getting 4 m r square 4 m r square plus 4 m r square is equals to 8 m r square okay this is the value of uh, ip and now the moment of inertia of the combined system can be written as i is equals to ip plus id okay so we can find the entire uh, moment of inertia of the entire system i is equals to 3 by 2 into m r square plus 8 m r square on rearranging further we will get i is equals to 3m plus uh, 16m 3m plus 16m r square divided by 2 okay so we can write this as 19m r square divided by 2 so this is the mom uh, inertia value of the entire system so according to this if you look into these four options we have option C 19 m r square divided by 2. So option C is the correct answer for this question according to this solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.